for anyone who's very, very sensitive, hold on to your hat because we're about to watch a very weird video. All right. We got the map out today. Everybody, I always say, get you a map. Because sometimes when you're talking history, you know, it can, it can, uh, um, you can put the puzzle together better and have a visual in your mind um, as well as literally, you know, in your eye. <laughs> so far, so good. You need a map, preferably if you're going to talk about history, a historical map, not a modern one. But this one will do for now since I don't know what the main point is. Because I doubt anyone can prove it. Name over the last 5,000 years of history. Name one black, kinky-haired people who ever set up camp in North Africa in these lands above. Oh, I love this game. This is easy. The Beja people of Egypt, they set up camp in North Africa. The Beja people inhabit a general area between the Nile River and the Red Sea in Sudan, Eritrea, and eastern Egypt, known as the Eastern Desert. Well, I guess that part's over. Even all around here. Okay, so these are the Akhtem, and these are the people who live in Yemen. I mean, he pointed around that area of Saudi Arabia and Yemen and said, even all around here. So there you go. These are the Abyssinians that happen to live in Yemen, and they had several cases of moving in to the Arabian areas, and they're even written down in the Quran and other books that show that these people came in two ways, one through slavery and the other through conquest. I mean, there's other third ways which they came through business, but I'm sure you're going to need way more evidence than I can provide for that. But the two that I can provide easily is that these guys came through this region through these two routes. So I guess the game is over then. By the way, this is a flawed question, but I'll only do that at the end. So far, I'm answering sincerely. From Turkey. Okay, so you mean like Afro-Turks that live in Turkey by way of two routes. One, again, the Zanj, mainly through slavery, and then the Sudanese through being under the empire of the Turks. Let me make this clear. Turkey, Syria, Iraq, Iran, Saudi Arabia, uh, Egypt... You know, Libya, Algeria, uh, 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 uh. So basically, he's referring to the Middle East. Okay, well, what about the Tebu culture in Libya? Right now, currently, in Libya, there's a kinky-haired population called these people. And there's many others. I mean, Berbers have, <laughs> today, many races and they travel throughout Africa, north and south. As we can read from Wikipedia, with a simple Google search, the Taobao or Tubu from Old Tebu, meaning rock people, are the ethnic group native to the Tibetsi Mountains that inhabit the Central African, Central Sahara in northern Chad, southern Libya, northeast Niger, and northwestern Sudan. They live either as herders, nomads, or f as farmers near oases. Okay, capiche? We got it. Easy. Next. Tunisia, <laughs> uh, 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 Morocco, Algeria. Name one black people in the last 5,000 years who set up camp here. Or around here, the Levant, the Near East. Uh, uh. Okay, so now he's repeating the question, and I just named you a few. I think he was pretty sure that no one is going to be able to name any when there's so many. <laughs> uh, uh, Turkey, uh, uh, Egypt, uh, 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 anywhere around here. You know what I'm saying? And so let me explain why this question is kind of foolish. Well, because he says in the last 5,000 years. Last 5,000 years includes the 1900s. 
It includes the 1800s. It includes the 1700s. I can name hundreds of people. Anywhere around here or across North Africa, name one in 5,000 years a kinky-haired black people who look similar to us who set up camp there, I didn't say travel through, or pass through, or, 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 or take us somewhere. Uh, somebody wrote something on a rock. And somebody wrote something on a rock? I'll say this because he's just going over and over again the same way. The reason why this question is flawed, the reason why it doesn't make sense, it's like me, you saying, Name a black African that has lived in America in the last 5,000 years. Oh, okay, let's start. Barack Obama, Mike Tyson, 50 cents. I don't know. Name any black American. It's the last 5,000 years means all of those people qualify. So your question is pointless. And given that there's hundreds of thousands of black people living in uh, Western Asia, which is where you're concentrating, your question makes no sense. And a lot of them migrated in the last, you know, in the 1800s, 1900s, 2000s. And you said they lived there for years? Those people lived there for years. Years and years and years. And they're married into the population. Shit, as in they're passing through a... Uh... I'm not talking about no migration. Don't take me past 5,000 years and talk about some Neolithic shit. Don't take... Stay fucking focused. Since I've already proved that other point, let me just address what he just said right now, which is he doesn't want to hear anything about Neolithic people and he doesn't want to hear anything about any... And I guess the point he's trying to make is that there were no black people living in this area if you don't look at Neolithic, which is not true, as I've just shown you in this video. But if you start looking back way before, if you, if you put a parameter and say, okay, because you don't find people at a particular time in some place, therefore black people have never been in that area, that's like me saying... Well, point to me a European in Europe 60,000 years ago. If you can't, then there were no Europeans in Europe. Doesn't make sense. Or, here's another one that's very beautiful. Um, in the last 50 years, name me a state in America that is majority Native American. If you can't, then Native Americans were never the majority in America ever in history. I don't want to hear nothing about no Neolithic. I don't want to hear nothing about prehistoric or pre-colonization. If you can't name them in the last 50 years, then... <laughs> name this kinky nappy hair tribe or nation, whatever you want to term, that set up camp there in, inhabited that land for years where their culture was born there. Uh, 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 you know what I mean? Uh, uh, um, it, it's just a group of people in history someone knows about or talks about. Name one. Just one. And this goes out to anybody. I'll be waiting for that name in the chat. Not the chat, excuse me. In the comment thread. Chief X, I'm out. So what do I win? What do I get since I've already done that?